Hey guys, this is Shuman from AC Technical. Today I am going to show you some possible fixes of automatic repair boot loop issues in Windows 10 or Windows 8.1. Sometimes a Windows computer user may encounter with this problem, such as automatic repair. Your PC did not start correctly. Press restart to restart your PC, which can sometimes fix the problem. You can also press advanced option to try other options to repair your PC. Or automatic repair could not repair your PC. Press advanced options to try other options to repair your PC or shut down to turn off your PC. There are several reasons behind this problem. It can be due to various issues such as corrupted drivers, corrupted page files in hard disk, system file corruption, faulty or unsupported hardware, malware infection and one of the most common cause is overheating and much more rarely caused by Windows update component when it needs to be repaired. However, don't worry, by following these instructions in this tutorial, you can definitely fix this automatic repair loop problem. At first, click on restart as it is mentioned, because sometimes a simple reboot process can fix this issue. But note, in a critical situation, this reboot process will not be able to fix your problem and this reboot option will not appear here. In that case, just click on advanced option. Next troubleshoot. Next advanced options. Note, here you can use your manually created system restore point to fix this problem. This is one of the easiest solution for this issue. But if you did not create a system restore point before, then this procedure is not for you. Because in most cases, generally a Windows user doesn't know about how to create and use a manual system restore point to protect their system from this kind of problem. However, if you want to know how to create and use a manual system restore point in Windows 10, then here's a certain tutorial for you. However, now let's go to the second method. Just click on next troubleshoot. Next advanced options. Click on startup settings and restart. Now hit on F4 to entering in save mode as you can see. Note, if this occurred due to system file corruption, missing system files and system health issues, then this procedure will definitely help to fix your problem. At first, run CMD as administrator. Now type the command dism space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health and hit enter to run. This is a system scan in order to replace missing and corrupted files on Windows. Now leave your computer and don't close this Windows until it's completed. This might take several minutes, so I just fast forward this boring part. Alright, now it's about to be completed. As you can see the status, the restore operation completed successfully. Now just check once and make sure your system has not any integrity violations. Now type sfc space for slash scan now and hit enter to check. And don't close this window until it's completed. Now I just skip this boring part.
All right, after completing the process, as you can see the status, Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations. Now type exit and hit enter. Now just reboot once. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved. And one more very important thing, make sure your computer is running in balanced power plan. If not, then at first set the balanced power plan as default, which is highly recommended. And don't select high performance option because high performance mode does not lower your CPU speed when is not being used, as you can see in this pop-up window. And note, high performance power plan won't make your CPU faster. It just run your CPU at a higher clock speed, which would only produce more heat. And as I said before, overheating is one of the most common reason behind this automatic repair loop problems. So, set the balanced power plan as default and let your system good to go. Now just restart your computer, after that hopefully your problem will be solved. Yeah, as you can see, it's working properly. Now, let's go to the advanced method. This procedure helps to recover Windows registry in critical situation basically when you have no restoring point or no backup. Now click on advanced options. Next troubleshoot. Next advanced options. Then common prompt. Next you will need to find out your system directories. But keep in mind, in this case, yours and mine system drive later may be same or different because it is automatically changed here. Now type your system drive later, give a colon and hit enter. Now type dir and hit enter to confirm. Then you will see your system directories as you can see. If your system directories are not displayed, then type here another drive later and give a colon and hit enter. Next type dir and hit enter to confirm. However, once you found then type cd space backward slash windows backward slash system32 backward slash config and hit enter. Next type md space backup and hit enter. Next type copy space asterisk dot asterisk space backup and hit enter. Next type cd space regback and hit enter. Next type dir and hit enter. Then you will see the windows registry files as you can see. Now you have to reset the windows registry. Now type copy space asterisk dot asterisk space dot dot and hit enter. Yeah, as you can see it asks for default settings. Now type all. Then hit enter. Yeah, as you can see the message, five files copied. Now type the final command exit and hit enter. Now just turn off your system and wait for a while. Now let's see it's working or not. Yeah, as you can see, boot menu is working properly. Now let's check both OS working properly or not.
We are done. As you can see, both OS working properly. We hope you will like. Of course, let us know your opinion. If you have any questions, then please let us know. Please like, comment, share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.